Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus y plus 4 is equal to 4 times square root of x times root y. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y such that x and y are real numbers. So let's start. Since this x is under square root, so this x, x must be greater than or equal to 0. And y is under square root. For real numbers, y must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, this equation can be rewritten as x plus y plus 4 is equal to 4 times square root of x times root y is same as root x times double square root of y. Next, x plus y plus 4 is equal to 4 times root x. This double square root of y is same as fourth root of fourth root of y. Now we suppose that let a is equal to root x and b is equal to fourth root of y. Now because x is greater than or equal to 0, so this a must be greater than or equal to 0. a must be greater than or equal to 0. And since y is greater than or equal to 0, this b must be b must be greater than or equal to 0. And if we square both sides of this equation, this implies that a squared is equal to x. If we take power 4 on both sides, this implies that b to the power 4 is equal to y. So the original equation will become a squared plus b to the power 4 plus 4 is equal to 4 times a b. Now we move this 4ab to the left hand side. So this will become a squared. This positive 4ab will become negative 4ab at left hand side plus b to the power 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Next, a squared. This negative 4ab can be written as a negative 2 times a times 2b. To complete the square, we add here, we add here 4b squared. And then we write this plus b to the power 4 plus b to the power 4. And to balance this 4b squared, we subtract, we subtract 4b squared plus this 4 is equal to 0. Next, a squared minus 2 times a times 2b plus this 4b squared is same as 2b whole squared and we use brackets to make this a group. Plus to make another group we use brackets. This b to the power 4 can be written as b squared whole squared minus this 4b squared is same as 2 times b squared times 2 plus this 4 is same as 2 squared is equal to 0. Now by using this algebraic identity m squared minus 2 times m n plus n squared is equal to m minus n whole squared. This a squared minus 2 a times 2 b plus 2 b squared will become a minus 2 b whole squared plus this b squared 
whole squared minus 2 times uh, b squared times 2 plus uh, 2 squared will become b squared minus 2 whole squared is equal to 0. Now we have uh, sum of 2 squares equal to 0 and uh, sum of 2 squares can only be equal to 0 if uh, each of these is equal to 0 means that uh, if we have uh, m squared plus uh, n squared is equal to 0 then m must be equal to 0 and uh, n must be equal to 0 so this uh, a minus 2b must be equal to 0 and this uh, b squared minus 2 must be equal to 0 like this a minus 2 times b is equal to 0 and uh, b squared minus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we move this negative 2 to the right hand side this will become b squared is equal to positive 2 and we take a square root of both sides so this square will be cancelled out with this square root and from here we get uh, two values of b b is equal to root 2 and uh, b is equal to negative root 2 and as we discussed earlier that uh, since x is greater than 0 so a will be greater than 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 this b must be greater than or equal to 0 As we discussed earlier that uh, A must be greater than or equal to 0 and B must be greater than or equal to 0. This value negative root 2 is less than 0. So this will be rejected and we accept only this value of B root 2. Now in this equation we replace this B with this uh, root 2. So this will become A minus 2 times uh, value of B is uh, root 2. 2 is equal to 0. Move this negative 2 times root 2 this will become a is equal to 2 times root 2. So we get the value of a we get the value of a 2 times root 2 and value of b root 2. Now to find the values of x and y recall that we have supposed We have supposed that A is equal to root x and B is equal to fourth root of y. We have supposed that root x is equal to A and fourth root of y is equal to B. So A is 2 times root 2. This will become root x is equal to 2 times root 2 and from here we take square of both sides so this square will be considered out with this square root we get the value of x is equal to 2 squared will become 4 times root 2 squared will become 2 this will become x is equal to 8 now b is equal to root 2 so this will become fourth root of uh, y is equal to root 2 and we take uh, 4 power on both sides this power 4 will be considered with this fourth root and at left hand side we are left with y is equal to this root 2 is same as uh, 2 to the power 1 over 2 times uh, this power 4 and 2 1 time 2 2 times so this will become y is equal to 2 squared and y will be equal to 4 so the final value of x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 4 the set of solutions of x comma y is equal to the only pair is 8 comma 4
this is the final answer of this problem